in. So for this week's video tutorial, I really wanted to make another gum paste flower for you. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these really pretty anemone flowers that you can use to decorate your cakes. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our anemone flower is first of all, I've got my gum paste. Now I'm just using the Squires floral paste and I've got a white and a black. I've then got three different cutters. I've got my petal cutters in two different sizes and a leaf cutter, two different sets of anemone veiners, which just match the size of the cutters. I've got my PME veining board and a foam mat. I've got 50 strands of stamen so these ones are medium size so they've just got this really small ball on both ends a small amount of white cotton I've then got some wire now I've cut these down to around four inches in length and this is just 24 gauge wire I've also got one piece of 18 gauge wire which I'm going to use for the center of my flower, some floral tape, my rolling pin, some modeling tools, a small pair of scissors and some tweezers, some edible glue and a few different colors of petal dusts along with some of my sugar flare rejuvenating spirit. Now the first thing I'm gonna work on is gonna be the center of my flower. So to start, I've just got a ball of the black gum paste and this one measures around a centimeter in diameter. Push that to flatten down the bottom. You then want to take a really small pair of scissors and I'm going to cut into the surface of my ball. Now the center of these flowers has really fine hairs on the surface so we just want to make it look quite textured. To add more detail, go in with a small pair of tweezers, pinch in some of that gum paste to the appearance of of more fine little hairs. Being careful not to flatten down any of that texture that we've created. Now I'm using black here, but some anemones do have colored centers. So always make sure that you look at different pictures and work out what colors will work best for the cake that you're creating. I've then got my piece of 18 gauge wire and I'm using my metal tools so that we create a loop. Now by creating a loop, this just gives a larger surface area for that gum paste to cling onto. Taking some of my edible glue, dip the end and just push that into the bottom. I then want to pop this to one side until that is completely dry and that wire is nice and secure. Now in order to create the stamen that are going to run around the center, I've got two piles of 25 stamen each. These ones just have the medium balls on the end. Now if you were using ones that were slightly smaller, you would need a few extra. Now I'm going to start by taking a small piece of white cotton and with one of my bunches make sure that they're nice and level. I'm going to tie those together and once I know that's nice and secure just wrap that cotton round a few times and just add in a double knot and I'm going to trim off any excess. You then want to do exactly the same to the second bunch. Now taking two more pieces of cotton, I'm gonna bring the two ends together so that they meet. Now at the other end, I wanna secure this in exactly the same way as I did before. So using my cotton, I'm gonna wrap that round, add in a small knot and then just carry on winding it round until I know that it's nice and tight. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with the other one. So we've got two bunches. Now you can add color to these once they've been added to the center of your flower. I'm gonna color mine before. So I've got, got some rejuvenating spirit or you can use a dipping solution or alcohol. And I'm just gonna turn this into a paint. Now with the white anemone flowers, the stamen have black ends, but they are whiter the closer you get to the center. So I'm gonna use this black paint and I'm gonna paint on my color. I'm only gonna go up around half a centimeter so that a small amount of that white will still stick out. Continue to turn them so that you know that you're getting all the sides. 
I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other bunch. Now, with the rejuvenating spirit, they only take a few minutes to dry. And once they're dry, I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy brush and go over the top, dusting those off. Now, the reason I like to do this, especially if you're creating a lighter color of petals, is as that rejuvenator spirit dries, it can leave some excess edible tin. And you don't want this to come off when we put the flower together and just leave small black specks over the flowers now once they're ready i'm going to leave those to one side until the center of my flower has completely dried now for the petals i'm going to be using my white gum paste and i've also got my pme veining board now if you've seen any of my other flower tutorials you would have seen me use this one before and it's just got grooves cut out so that we can create a raised area on the back of the petal in order to pop our wire into now if you don't have one of these that's absolutely fine you can create the same effect just using a small rolling pin and i will show you both ways so taking a small piece of my my gum paste I'm going to place that on one of my grooves and using a really small rolling pin I'm rolling over the top now we want to get this nice and thin and when we take that off you can see we've got this vein on the back now starting with my smaller cutter anemone flowers have a variety of the smaller and the larger petals but there isn't a set number of how many petals they actually have some flowers may have five or six petals in total whereas some might have eight nine or ten petals for this flower I'm going to be doing five of the smaller petal and five of the larger one. Use my ball tool and just lightly run this around the edge. I've then got a piece of my 24 gauge wire that I'm going to dip the end into my edible glue. This can then be pushed into that raised area on the back and you want to pinch that bottom making sure that it's nice and secure on your wire. Now I'm going to bring in my two small veiners and push down. Now you could place this onto a spoon or if you've got a shaping mat. Another option is to take a glass and a piece of foil, lay that on the top of the glass and just push it in to create a small bowl shape. And I can use this just to place in my petal. Now the shape that we're looking for is quite a flat petal. It just has a small curve at the bottom. Use the tin foil just to move that around, just to add in a small amount of shape. Now, if you don't have a veining board, we're gonna do exactly the same and create a raised area for the back. Take in my small rolling pin, push down on one side and smooth that down. Leaving a line in the center, come down on the other side. I'm then gonna thin out the top, leaving this small raised triangle at the bottom. Once we've got our five smaller petals, I'm gonna do exactly the same for the five larger ones. So instead of that smaller veiner, I'm just using the slightly larger one. Once all of my petals have been cut out, I'm gonna leave these to one side until they're completely dry. Now you wanna make sure that that edible glue is also dry and the petal has fully glued itself to the wire. Now, depending on what you're gonna see when you attach your flower onto the cake, if you're gonna see some of the back, then you might wanna create some leaves that are gonna come out from behind. So I've just got my cutter that has five different prongs coming out and I've colored some of my white gum paint with some of the color splash leaf green. I'm gonna do exactly the same as I did with my petals. So just roll this out, keep this one slightly thicker than the petals, so around one millimeter. Using the larger end of my ball tool, I'm gonna to run that over the top of my gum paste just to extend those down. I'm going in with the smaller end. From the tip, just pulling back slightly, just giving that leaf some shape. I'm then gonna be making six of these. Okay, so once the center of my flower has dried and that wire is nice and secure, I'm then gonna take my stamen, bend them at a 90 degree angle and do exactly the same to the other ones. So I'm just opening them up slightly and bending them over. I'm gonna take my first one and place that up against my wire. The stamen 
bending outwards and do exactly the same with the other one but I'm going to put this on the other side and you want them coming out around half a centimeter from the middle now holding them in place I'm going to take some of my floral tape now this is just activated with water so I'm going to put a small amount of water on the end of my fingers and just run that over the end I can then start to wrap that round once that's attached on, I'm then gonna work my way around just pulling those stamen out so they go all the way around in a circle. Once you're happy that they go all the way around, there we have the center of our flower. So I'm gonna start preparing my petals to go around the edge. Okay, so now all of our petals are drier and that wire is nice and secure. I'm gonna add a small amount of color so it comes out from that black center. Now I'm also gonna take my petals and where the wire joins the bottom, slightly turn that. Now white anemones can be completely white or they can have a small amount of color. So I'm gonna take some dusky pink edible tin and a gray and just mix those together. I'm just gonna start at the bottom of the petal and just work that color up around a centimeter. Just taking one of my petals, I wanna place it underneath the stamen where that tape starts. So it just tucks under and I'm gonna take some of my floral tape, start to wind that round, one complete twist. I'm gonna take my next petal and just tuck that slightly under the previous one and wrap that round. Now, if your flower was having less petals, you might not want to tuck them as round as much and they're gonna be a bit more spaced out. So I'm bringing in all five, wrap that round a few times and just start bringing it down the length of those wires. Now I'm gonna go in and just move those petals around. So just lightly pulling on those wires. Now with the larger petals, I want to place these so they close up those gaps. So I'm gonna place it again, just underneath the previous row and wind round a piece of my floral tape. And just work my way around until all of those petals have been added. So then we have our anemone. Now you can just leave it like this if you're adding it into maybe a dome of flowers on the top of your cake. But if it's going on the side and you can see some of that side, you might wanna add some green leaves. Now I've got six of these and I'm gonna use some foliage green edible tint to add some different green shades onto those. Now, just as I did with the petals, I'm gonna slightly angle those back. So around 45 degrees. Bring back in my flower and I'm gonna start around a centimeter down the stem. Start by adding three. Just start to wind that round. Once I've come down around half a centimeter, add three more. So we get these really pretty leaves that you can just see from the side. So here we have the finished anemone, all ready to add onto a cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will find it useful if you want to make your own version of these flowers. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like so that I know and don't forget you can also subscribe to the Cakes Balanced YouTube channel for more videos like this. I'll also put a link in the description below to some other flower tutorials you might be interested in along with all the tools that I've used in today's video. So until next time, bye!